the audacity of this guy that I started talking to through a dating app. We actually exchanged numbers. Oh, but I have to get this out of my chest. What do you mean by that? So after like swiping a thousand times left, I'm like, oh, there's this guy, you know. He looked interesting um, and he kind of checked a lot of my boxes and we started chatting, we matched and everything. So we exchanged numbers, right? And right off the back, like he started telling me, oh my God, I have a good feeling about you. Like I can wait to meet you. And I'm like, Red flag, don't do that guys, that's simping. The minute you do that is the minute you start giving women power over you and they will take advantage. Let's continue. Like sure, you know, like let's set up a day, let's, you know, and he likes dogs, I like dogs, so like, hey, let's go somewhere that's dog friendly and let's uh, pups meet up and then we can catch up or, you know, meet. So um, he works in the medical field and he has odd hours, so it's kind of a little hard and me too, you know. I work odd hours. Long story short, I think we talked for like three days um, through text. And uh, this Saturday, he texted me like, hey, um, so when should we meet up? You know, what's a good day for you um, to meet up since I'm finishing up my 24 hour shift? And that day, my and that day my sister was like, "Hey sis, get ready. I'm picking you up in an hour, in an hour and a half. I'm taking you somewhere." So my sister had like all this like dinner um, planned for me for my birthday month. This whole birthday month, the birthday month, your birthday is one damn day. I tell you, these ladies will look for any excuse to just party, party, party. One day, your birthday is not the whole month. And I don't even believe that she went out with her sister. That's another excuse that a lot of women use. Oh, my sister called me or my brother called me or my mom called me. And I just had to do this, this thing that I forgot about. Or, you know, it just completely slipped my mind. It's just a lot of games. That's all it is. Because I hadn't um, hanged out with my family. So I'm like getting ready. You know, I'm taking my hour and a half and I'm getting ready. Yada, yada, yada. I get to dinner. My sister picks me up and everything. And I didn't get a chance to reply to this guy. So literally three hours passed by and I didn't reply to him because I was so caught up with, with my sister and everything. That makes sense. And the next thing I know, um, we're finishing up dinner and he's like, cancel that. Um, I actually need time to rethink and take time by myself and be single and figure things out. Bro, stop acting like a woman. You don't need to explain yourself. Cancel it, go do whatever you got to do. Don't deal with it. The reason why you did that is because she was ignoring you. So just leave it at that. You don't need to explain anything because you will never out talk a woman. You will never out slick a woman. It's just not going to happen. Not like that. Uh, wish her the best. Obviously, I didn't reply right away to that shit. I was like, okay, I'll just wait till I get home, you know, so I can like think clear and reply to this guy. I in other words, I'm going to ignore you some more, make it fester in your mind, and then I'll let it, let it get worse, and then I'll decide to contact you. Come on, man. She should have left it at that, but I was like, mm, no, I like to have the last word sometimes. So long story short, I was like, hey, you know, like, I understand that feeling. Um, thank you for being honest with me. No hard feelings. Don't worry about it. Um, I've been there, so take your time. You know, when you're ready, you, you know when you're going to be ready to go out there and date again. You caused all of this. Um, take care. Heart. And then he replies with, well, I still have interest in you. I was like, the fuck? And I was like, listen, I'm ready to be out there and go out there and date and you're not and we're not aligning there. So let's not waste our time, okay? He you gave her power. Now she just said that, I understand. I completely understand that. And when you're ready to get put yourself back out there, it's all good. And then the minute you say, well, I'm still interested in you. It's, oh, if you're not interested right now, then it's a wrap. See, it's just games. It's a, it's like a roller coaster up and down. That's why you can't give women that power, guys. You cannot do that. Remember that you control access to relationships. Women only control access to sex. That's it. Makes sense, don't it? He's like, oh, I have some red flags that I need to work on. You know, it's just hard when people try to change me and I try to change for them and then they don't like when I change and then they leave me. So he gave me like a billion excuses. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. So I was like, why? Tell me why I should talk to you after that tantrum you threw by me not answering. You're like, oh, cancel that, right? So he gave me like a bunch of excuses. He never said like, oh, this is why you should talk to me. No, he just gave me like some random bullshit excuses. So long story short, I was like, you know what? You work on yourself and take care. I'm like, bye. And then he replies the audacity, but he replies, well, 
I'll be able to fix my red flags in a week or two, so... Unbelievable. Okay. Like, bruh, are you, like, telling me, like, hey, wait for me a week or two, be on standby? Like, are you fucking serious? These guys these days, what the fuck? Obviously, like, I unmatched them, I deleted his number, and I'm just like, bye. Boy, bye. Anyways, thanks for listening, you guys. Bye. Be a dad. Guys, you gotta stop giving women all this power because that is what they're looking for. It's all a test. The reason why she ignored you to begin with is to see how you would react, to see if she could get control of you, to see if you would get emotional, to see if you would start acting like a woman. That's exactly what you did. You start explaining yourself, oh, I got all these red flags I need to work on. You don't even know her. Why are you telling her all these things? okay don't be telling these women about your past and your breakups and your heartbreaks and all of that because the minute she stands in front of your face and tells you that that's wrong that should have never happened a good woman will never do that to you is the same instance that she will stock that away or file that away in her memory bank and say this is something that i can use against this man in the future basically this all started because she ignored this guy and she was playing games Okay, and she just kept playing games just to see how he would react. And he reacted in the same exact way that she wanted him to. She wants to have control. She's playing games. Look, ain't nobody in this world that busy that they can't make time for something that they really want to do. This whole thing about, oh, I was, you know, with my sister for so many hours and, you know, I couldn't get away and all of that. That's just an excuse. If that was a person that she was really interested in, she would have made sure that she contacted this guy back and her sister would have been a cheerleader for her to do it. Yeah, girl, he's hot. Call him back. Yeah, don't worry about me. So, guys, stop falling for these these games that these women play. Please stop the majority of them think that they're all that. They think that their worth is more than what it actually is. And it's always a test. I don't care if you're in a relationship already with the woman. You could be married to her. Everything. She's going to constantly test your manhood to see what you're going to do. And if you fail, you're going to give her control. Go work on yourself. Get tougher skin. Stop depending on these women from these dating sites because what that says is that you're not living in a world of abundance you're living in a world of scarcity you're, you're you're putting yourself out there like you're desperate if you got it going on as a man you don't need to beg no woman to go on no date with you you don't need to do that for what you control access to relationships women control access to sex nice but if you keep giving these women control because you're attracted to them, you're telling them, oh, I could, you're the one, oh, I could see a future with you and all that. Women do not respect that. They don't. They're not going to just straight up tell you that, but they don't. This, the very guy that has been ignoring her, not responding to her, not giving her her way is the one she's going to fall behind. That's the one she's going to call. That's the one she was probably texting while she was ignoring you or talking or seeing. Hell, she might have been on a date with that guy. And she just told you she was with her sister. Stay in your masculine frame and stop being weak because if you run against a woman that's just going to straight test you and you're not strong, you're going to fail and she's going to have control. That's exactly what she is doing. Ask yourself, if you're so attracted to her and she's so hot, why is she single? Think about that. You have to look behind, beyond how attractive women are, okay? That's not enough. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this video. I do wanna know your opinion. And I, as always, I do appreciate you. Make sure to like, this video subscribe to my channel comment share do all those good things to help you know this youtube channel grow and with that said make sure you guys have a good day peace may the force be with you